One thing about the British press and the British royal family is that every single time they get caught doing something wrong or scandalous, they run to their scapegoats, Harry and Meghan, to attempt to throw them under the bus in order to take the heat off themselves. So of course, Kate Middleton and Prince William getting caught Frankensteining a fake Mother's Day image um, and being globally humiliated for it calls for uh, a revival of an old photo of Harry and Meghan at Archie's christening, right? So what they tried to do was have their British press buddies run to Giddy images and have that image declared altered, you know, so that it could be pulled and recalled the way that William and Kate's Mother's Day photo was. And so Getty images did have a footnote saying that they were reviewing the image, but guess what? Unlike William and Kate's photos, this was not Frankenstein chopped and screwed. OK, um, they issued an alert, an update saying that there were no issues found with that image. It is a real existing image. So let's get into what actually went down and how the photographer of that image uh, reacted to all of the hoopla. First of all, the photo was taken five years ago, back in 2019. That's how desperate these people are to throw Harry and Meghan under the bus by a photographer named Chris Allerton. And so he spoke to the es Express paper and said, and I quote, I would like to state very clearly and thus clarify matters that the photograph you were referring to taken by me at Windsor Castle on July 6, 2019 has not been manipulated and was distributed to the best of my knowledge in adherence with the submission guidelines required by Getty Images. It would be utterly false and indeed defamatory to suggest that I had somehow changed or materially manipulated any of the subjects or content of the image. As a professional photographer, I meticulously prepared for this portrait moment, including testing and fine tuning the relevant lighting equipment with my team, along with preloading the necessary technical processing adjustment settings in advance. This was made possible by taking pre-shoot test shots. So when the royal family arrived, I could work on composition and capturing a relaxed and pleasing moment quickly and efficiently for them. And then the final image was delivered to the palace press team for all relevant distribution. I am sure you will understand that for such formal portraits, time and speed is of the essence. It has always been a pleasure and privilege to be asked to photograph for the royal family. So he was very stern and very clear in his message. Don't play with my professional reputation and suggest that I would do something as low as to completely alter a photo for public consumption, aka manipulate the public. They might do that in a certain royal house, but they don't do that over here in the house of Sussex. Thank you very much. And they won't use me to do that. So when Getty Images released that little footnote claiming that the image was under review, Chris uh, told the Mirror, the Express that he very immediately went to them and requested clarification. And so a Getty Images spokesperson then spoke out about it, saying that the image had an editor's note placed on it while under review and that the note has been now removed because there were no issues found. So there you go. As desperate as the British press and perhaps even Kensington Palace itself are to throw Harry and Meghan under the bus, this is the second time. The first time it was the image of Meghan announcing her pregnancy with Lilibet, where she and Harry and Archie were under the tree in their Montecito home. Um, they tried to claim that that was doctored, but no, it turned out it wasn't. Her photographer, Missan, um, immediately provided the raw image. So here we go two images that they tried to take down and try to destroy the reputations of, and they failed. And in that time, we still do not have an original version of William and Kate's Mother's Day photo. Funny how that works. At this point, they are looking like a bitter, bitter, bitter joke. And um, I'm low-key embarrassed for them that this these are the lengths that they're willing to go to tear down a family that is so quiet about this entire situation and minding their own business all the way on the other side of the world in California. All they had to do was provide information about that photo that they tried to mislead us with, but they can't do that. Instead, they are deflecting left, right, and center, but it's not working. All we're finding out time and time again is that Meghan and Harry have been honest and authentic in the materials and information that they have provided to the public. So kudos to Meghan and Harry for um, defeating yet another attempt to tear them down. It really is beautiful how uh, they continue to shine in the midst of all of this hatred and mudslinging being thrown at them.
Guys, how do you feel about this situation? Is it getting a little bit embarrassing seeing how desperate these people are to, to bring and to rope Meghan and Harry into their scandal, going as far as to try to get uh, photos taken five years ago, taken down and announced as inaccurate? Um, and how do you feel about Meghan and Harry being proven right and authentic and true and trustworthy time and time again compared to Kensington Palace? Because guess what? It wasn't just the Mother's Day photo that was deemed chopped, screwed, and ineligible. It was also the photo that um, was Frankenstein together featuring allegedly featuring Queen Elizabeth and all of her grandchildren. They stitched some old photos of these kids and pretended that they were in their room for that photo, which is rather disturbing. Um, anyway, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.